Are you looking to create a graph in Smartsheet? Now it might be a pie chart or it might be a bar graph. Either way, I'm going to be showing you how you can do that here today. Now I've loaded up my account here um, and I've also created some dummy data. So right off the bat, I just want to let you know that it's not actually possible to create a graph within a sheet in Smartsheet. So you might have even looked at the top here, you might have seen, gone through all of the different options. It's, it's not something that you can do. So what you actually need to do is you need to create a dashboard and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But first and foremost, I'll just quickly run through what I've got here. So I've got all of the data, it's dummy data. So if I go back to my browse here, so I've just created a, a new kind of folder within my sheet section. It's called it dummy data. And as you'll see, it's just a load of different data that we can use to make our graph. So you're going to need this first and foremost. So what I'm gonna do, head back into the, the folder, right click, and I'm gonna click on dashboard or portal. Alternatively, you can click the create button top right. Let's call this, let's just call it graph. And if I open this up, you're gonna see it's completely blank, obviously working from a blank slate here. What you need to then do is either add a widget, so you can watch the video if you wanted some further information. Um, but what we're gonna do is click add widget. Now here you have the option to add a chart. So this is what you need to do. So from here, you basically run through the tutorial on the right hand side. So first and foremost, we need a data source. Well, as you can imagine, that's going to be our dummy data. It's just gonna load, we're gonna hit okay. That's essentially where we want the data to come from. Um, and when you're in here, you need to select the, the, you know, you need to tell Smartsheet what data you want to pull in. So for instance, I want it to look at the vendor and the purchase price. So I'm gonna select all of those cells, then I'm gonna hit okay. And you'll see it's automatically pulled it in to a, a chart and a graph and this is a bar bar chart as you can see so then what you basically need to do is just run through the various options here so the columns included so do we want to include all of them or just the vendor well, I don't know why you'd want to do that but this is particularly useful if you'd selected every kind of cell in in when you were selecting your data and then you just run through the other options so we want to we want to use the column names as category labels or the first column as the, as the series labels. And then in the chart type, here's where you get to choose between the different options. So by default, it's the bar, but you can have um, a pie, you can have a donut. Um, you know, there's a lot of different options here. Line graph, bar, scatter, column, loads of different options. So this is where you get the different option types. Let's put it into a pie for now. Um, and then you just run through the other formatting. So we could call this uh, create a graph. You get the idea there. You don't even have to have a title if you didn't want it. Um, and then, you know, you can change the colors of the different aspects of the pie. If you are using a pie, you can change the legend and you can change the widget behavior. So what can happen when someone clicks on it? So you can click open the data source. So that will go through to the dummy data sheet or you can open another site or you can go to somewhere else in Smartsheet entirely. So they're the different options, you run through all of those. Now, one thing you might be thinking at this point is, you know, you don't want this, you don't want this kind of graph in a separate dashboard away from your, you know, underlying data sheet. And that can be a little bit frustrating. So what you can do is you can use something like the snipping tool, select it, so you've created an image, file, save as, so save the image to your computer. And then what you would then do is then you'd go back into your sheet that you wanted the graph in, so it's the dummy data, and then you would simply insert an image and then you could have it underneath. So that's probably how you can get it into um, a, 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 a data sheet if you didn't want it within a dashboard. But that's really how you create a graph in Smartsheet. It's, it's the matter of going into or creating a dashboard view, selecting the data that you'd like, and then either setting this up and pointing your stakeholders to this particular dashboard, or alternatively, as I say, creating an image 
and then placing that here within the dummy data. Or alternatively, you could sell links. So you could put a link in here that links people through to that dashboard. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this. And do consider subscribing and hitting that alert bell if you want to see or be notified when I release new videos like this. And with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.